Hello and welcome to the introduction of the new SarekDoctors.com Preparation and Polishing Solutions by Brassler USA. In this video we will discuss the features of both the preparation and polishing kits developed using Dr. Bob Winter's restorative concepts. These kits were developed to introduce a sequential preparation and finishing technique to ensure maximum clinical success. It is well known that margin adaptation of indirect restorations is intimately associated with the quality of the preparation. The better the preparation quality, the smaller the marginal gap. To best achieve the smoothest margin, the burrs that you use have a huge bearing on both efficiency and final surface. There are many techniques for preparing a margin in clinical dentistry. The most common choices have traditionally been the chamfer or shoulder margin. There are advantages and disadvantages of both preparation styles, and the preparation kits have been designed to maximize the advantages and minimize the disadvantages using the winter shoulder technique. The winter shoulder is a multi-radius tip design that helps eliminate lipping and stair-stepping finish lines commonly created by flat end tapered burrs. This is extremely important when doing CAD CAM dentistry because of how restorations are milled. If the margin is not smooth, the restoration will not seat properly. The CAD CAM preparation systems have been separated into two kits, one for the posterior and one for the anterior. This allows us to place the proper length burrs and reduction burrs to maximize ease of use and clinical success. Let's start with the posterior preparation kit. There are four different widths of burrs, 0.6, 1.0, 1 1.2, and 1.5 millimeter. All of the burrs come in 6 millimeter length so you can adequately prepare the tightest of spaces and they come in both super coarse and fine grits. There are two depth reduction burrs, a 1.5 millimeter for zirconia and a 2 millimeter for glass ceramics. It also comes with two fine margin refinement burrs, 1 millimeter and 1.4 millimeter. These allow you to create the best margin surface without altering the axial wall. Here's a close-up picture of the end-cutting safe-sided margin refinement burr, also designed with a multi-radius tip design like all the other diamonds in the kit. The anterior kit has the same width diamonds as the posterior, but an 8 millimeter length to accommodate the longer walls typically associated with anterior crown or veneer preparations. It comes with three incisal lingual reduction burrs along with two patented three-plane reduction burrs to ensure proper ceramic thickness. As was mentioned previously, the kits come in with diamonds in two grits, super coarse and fine. Previous winter solution kits were designed with medium and fine grit diamonds. When making the decision to replace the medium grit diamonds with the super coarse diamonds, it had to be determined that you could achieve a similar margin smoothness going from super coarse to fine as you could with medium to fine. To look at this, preparations were done and analyzed under microscope. It was determined that a similar smoothness could be achieved going from super coarse to fine as with medium to fine. Since most dentists prefer to do the initial preparation with super coarse diamonds, Brassler USA felt comfortable releasing this combination as an option. Another reason for introducing these kits was to standardize the preparation protocol for dentists. If you have a plan going into a preparation, you can achieve greater predictability. To show this, I'm going to walk you through a posterior preparation for a glass ceramic. Step number one will be to use the 2 millimeter occlusal reduction burr. After initial occlusal depth cuts, we're going to do interproximal reduction with either the 0.6 or 1 millimeter super coarse diamond. Which one you use will depend upon the clinical situation. I choose to do the interproximal reduction before the final occlusal reduction to protect the adjacent teeth. After interproximal reduction, the final occlusal reduction can be done with a super coarse 1.5 diamond burr. The 1.5 millimeter tip will aid in proper anatomic reduction of the occlusal surface. The initial axial reduction is done with a super coarse 1 millimeter diamond. This gives you a proper 1 millimeter winter shoulder that is appropriate for glass ceramics. 
Once the initial axial reduction was complete and a one millimeter winter shoulder was prepared, the final occlusal refinement was done with a 1.5 millimeter fine diamond. In this particular case, the amalgam was first removed and a small buildup was done to ensure uniform ceramic thickness. The initial margin refinement is done with a 1.2 millimeter fine diamond winter shoulder burr. The margin depth is not increased past the initial 1 millimeter reduction with this technique. You will have roughly 0.2 millimeters overhang with the fine diamond to ensure no stepping in the margin. The final margin refinement is done with the end cutting 1.4 millimeter fine diamond burr. This will overhang the 1 millimeter margin by roughly 0.4 millimeters. In the clinical cases in which this will not fit interproximally, a 1 millimeter margin refinement diamond is used. This completes the preparation for the molar. Notice that a methodical recipe for success was used to ensure the smoothest surface and ideal margin preparation. Moving on to the CAD CAM adjusting and polishing kits. The intro kit includes dialyte diamonds, both in fine and extra fine grits. These diamonds were specifically developed for safe adjustments with no microfractures to the ceramic. The kit also includes medium and fine dialyte polishers to create a natural polish on areas that need refinement. The extra oil CAD CAM adjustment and polishing system was developed to create an efficient and safe way to adjust, contour, and polish both glass ceramics and zirconia restorations. It includes both the dialyte wheels and featherlight polishers in medium and fine grits to achieve the most natural polish. In the next videos, we will show examples of how to effectively polish zirconia and finish a glass ceramic restoration. Here's a zirconia restoration. We're going to start the initial polish with a dialyte wheel medium grit at 8 to 10,000 RPMs. Once you're finished with that, we're going to move on to the dialyte wheel fine, also at 8 to 10,000 10, RPMs. You can see the nice smooth surface on that axial wall. To do the occlusal polishing, we're going to start with the dialyte featherlight medium. This is done also at 8 to 10,000 RPMs, followed by the dialyte featherlight fine at 8 to 10,000 RPMs. To achieve the final polish with zirconia, I prefer to use a polishing paste. There's many of the market. You can use whatever one you prefer. And here is the final beautiful polish using the adjustment and polishing kit for the zirconia crown. Next we're going to look at how to contour, adjust, and polish an anterior ceramic restoration. The first step is to be to remove the sprue. What we're using here is a heatless stone to safely remove that sprue. Next we're going to use the 842R medium to contour the ceramic restoration. Once the contouring is complete, we can go to the dialyte wheel medium to polish the line angles below the height of contour and the facial surface. We're using the 805 medium to add texture. We can you see a horizontal perichemata, vertical craze lines, whatever texture you choose to create. And then we'll use the dialyte wheel fine to dull out the texture. And finally, we're going to use the dialyte featherlight fine at 8 to 10,000 RPMs to smooth out the surface. And we'll do the final polish again with the polishing paste. This technique is very, very predictable to create a beautiful, final, natural polish in your restoration. I hope this introductory video helps everyone understand how the new CAD CAM preparation and polishing kits help both create clinical efficiency and excellence in your dentistry. If you have any questions, please feel free to post on sericdoctors.com discussion forum.
Thank you.